Sandy. Let's talk about sex. Because in the end, no matter where you're dating, somewhere along the way, the question's gonna come down to, do you wanna come back to my place? So what's your rules for people that are back in the dating world? They haven't done it in a while. So when should they get physical? How do, how do they follow their heart? What do they know? What are the rules that you give your clients? So I'm all about dating principles and not rules. I think you can get really tripped up on one size fits all mm -hmm. rules, which a lot of dating experts say, you know, wait 90 days. I think Steve Harvey has, you know, don't give the cookie until 90 days. Right. And a lot of people will not wait around for 90 days. Um, or there's the three date rule. People think, oh, in three dates you should know and you should be sleeping with that person. There are people who sleep with each other on the first date and they end up in a great relationship and get married. So there are no hard and fast rules, but I think you have to know yourself. You know, if, if it's a woman and you know you need emotional safety, and exclusivity is important to you, monogamy is important to you, and you're comfortable fooling around with somebody but not having sex until you're exclusive, just let them know. But I think the important thing is for a woman to let a man know that they're really attracted to him. So he doesn't feel shut down. He doesn't say, well, this isn't gonna ever happen, so I'm gonna lose interest. So, you know, again, communicate. Communicate what you want, what you need, and the right person is going to be respectful of your timeline. Now, I assume you don't come out at the first date and say, <laughs> <laughs> I really, I'm having a good time, but I just want you to know up front, I'm not having sex with you until whatever. Yeah, but a lot of people bring up sex in a first message. You know, it's amazing to me how many, how many men will say, oh, you're really attractive, you look really sexy, and, and just start talking about sexual things before you've even had a phone call or met. And so that's a big no-no. Is that, I was gonna say, is that a red flag? If some guy starts huge, texting yes. me before I've even met about sex. Yeah, that's the red flag that slaps you in the face. <laughs> that says, so sorry. Okay, if I want a partner for life, this is not my guy. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, look, if you're right. interested in fooling around having sex and not having your heart broken, great. It, it, the problem is that for women, we release hormones that bond us and it, we can't help it. I had a client once who said, well, you know, I'm fine with just sleeping around. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have a bond at all. And of course, the next day when he didn't call, she's freaking out. She's, she's bonded. Right. And this has happened so many times. So you, you've really got to know yourself and don't be afraid to state what your needs are. Interesting. All right. So let's talk for a minute about a really important thing for this age group, which is STDs, because those 40 plus are one of the largest growing groups of STD contractors. So birth control. Yes. So even if you can't get pregnant, right. condoms. Yeah. There are a lot of STDs that are also transmitted without sex. So really get educated about how to protect yourself and get tested and share test results before you become sexual. And how I, awkward is it to ask your potential partner to be tested? It's awkward. Don't do it while you're having sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, but beforehand or to it. say up front. Yeah. That so I work with clients right. on how to script right. that. You know, sit down with a cup of wine and just say, you know, I really like you and I really am excited about sleeping with you. But before I do, can we have this awkward conversation <laughs> and just put it out there, you know? And I'll tell you that this one client who never had this conversation mm -hmm. before, she had this conversation with the guy she was seeing and he was so grateful. He said, this is so mature. Like, why can't we all do this? Right. So the right person is gonna say, great. You know, and we can even go for testing together. Woohoo! <laughs> right. That's great, and it's so true to be able to actually do that. I can imagine the difficulty, but yes, once you put it out there and say, "Okay, this is awkward," then yeah. what a great platform exactly. for future success. All right, sex, follow your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. If you like today's Bottom Line Expert Minute with Sandy Weiner, then come to our website, BottomLineInc.com, and watch more, more with Sandy, and more with our other experts. And what would be even better, share us. Share us on Facebook, share us on Twitter, share us on LinkedIn. Let everybody know about the great videos that we have for you with all the leading experts in health, life, and money.